the fact that you have these long scenes, okay? The actors um, speak their lines uh, for five minutes and end, okay, without changing the the the, the, the view, the perspective. So um, this is done. This is achieved. Uh, as far as I know, in France they're studying Mungiu's uh, uh, recipe in the university. And uh, in order to do this, you have to get your crew and to do a goddamn lot of reading. So you will have to do this reading for hours and end, for days and end, before the shooting actually starts. Um, once you're sure that everybody on the set knows their lines by heart, then you can start shooting. What we did, of course, was the opposite of that. Um, we, tried to, um, we tried to get the amateurs to memorize their, their lines, and uh, after, I don't know, two, two or three days of, uh, of trying, uh, one of them said, you know what, we do not speak like that. You asked me to speak my normal tongue, you know, the way I usually speak at home, but we do not speak like that. And I said, okay, well, why don't you just keep the message and just convey it with your own words. And since then, everything started, started flowing like normally. But uh, if we had had, like, I don't know, two weeks or so of preparation before the shooting actually started, it would have saved a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of money. Because the people that you have on the set need to eat, need to drink, need to sleep, need to get, buy a pack of cigarettes, and so on and so forth. Um, Pre-preparation is always crucial. Uh, we had a lot of outdoor scenes, as you could see, and they're lovely and they're wonderful. And uh, we even tried to set the picture, we tried to, we tried to shoot the picture in spring because that's when nature in Romania is resplendent and it's wonderful and it's a pity not to show it to other people in other countries. And uh, it was also a very, very whimsical, like very, very rapid changes of weather. You would have rain and then scorching heat and then rain again, and then wind and then 10 degrees and wind and rain and then sun and so on and so forth. So always uh, have something uh, in your pocket, like, okay, if not shooting, shooting this scene outdoors, then we shoot shooting this scene indoors. Okay, is everybody ready? Everybody knows their, their lines by heart? Okay, let's do it. Um, the production is also very, very crucial. <laughs> utmost crucial, of utmost cruciality. Um, always, um, always set your, uh, your location straight and always decide on them with the director, with the lights manager, with the, with the sound manager, and so forth. And so on and so forth. Uh, if you're ready to shoot near a highway or a busy motorway or whatnot, um, be prepared for some background noise. Like, for instance, you may visit a village at noon when everybody's indoors eating their lunch. Whereas two, one hour later, you'll hear tractors and uh, trucks and whatnot driving, driving down the streets. So uh, be prepared for that, uh, for that extra factor that uh, you, you must take into account. Uh, it's like when you're, you know, when you're passing the car, always make, always make sure that you have enough room to get back in the line. So it's, it's kind of like, kind of like that. Uh, Again, I must, uh, I must uh, tell you about people, about the staff, about the crew. Um, it's, uh, it's probably a lot easier to work with professionals. And I'm pretty sure it's goddamn easier to, talk, to work with, 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 with professionals. Um, and if you have the chance to do that, just do that. So secure your finances, get your money just into your bank account, and then start looking for professionals. Um, there were, I told you, many number, uh, ma many moments when we had to, uh, when I mean, everybody was asking, so is this thing going on still? Because uh, I gotta go, because I gotta, you know, I gotta scram. And uh, we were lucky to have some professionals on the set who would always hunt these people down and sit next to them and talk them out of giving up. So it was very helpful. Um, if you're having professionals on, on the set, then it's easier. People will probably never say, okay, I'm gonna quit. I'm going to leave you like this, because their reputation will probably be screwed up. Whereas if you have amateurs, then it's prepared for the worst. For the worst. Uh, 